the last video we finished implementing the basic flow of the registration page. Now we are gonna add one more feature to the registration which will be to use Google Autocomplete in order to make it easier for the user to add its address information. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic framework. The first thing we need to do is to get access to the Google libraries. In order to do this, I'll go to the Google Cloud Platform and create a new project. I'll put the name Hesiclica and click on the Create button. After some seconds, the project will be created. Now I have to go to the APIs and Services option on the menu and add a new credential, which will be used in our app. I'll click on the Create credential and now select the API key option. Now I have to add the libraries this credential has access to, so I'll go to the libraries and filter by places and click on the places API. Then I'll enable it and wait for a few seconds. I also need to enable the Maps JavaScript API library, which is below here. So I'll click on it and then I'll select the option to enable it. And now I can go to the Autocomplete Solution tab and copy this line here where there is a script tag. Now I'll go back to my code, find the index.html file and paste that line here below the body tag. And finally, I need to change this part of the code with the API key we created before. So I'll go to the credentials tab, copy the key and paste it here. I'll also remove these callback and channel parts of the code as they are not necessary. All right, now everything's done with Google. Let's start coding. First, I'll go to my register.page.html file and identify on which field I want to use the autocomplete. In this case, it will be the street field, so I'll add to it an identifier called autocomplete. Now I can go to the register page component and get a reference to that input field. To do this, I'll use the view child decorator, which lets me get an element from the screen. So I'll inform that I want to get the element identified by the ID autocomplete. I'll call this property of my page autocomplete and inform it is of the type ion input. Okay, when my page is loaded, I need to link the Google autocomplete to the input. So I'll add to my component the ion view did enter function, which is an ionic function that we will execute when the page is loaded. Here I'll get the autocomplete property and get its input element, which will give me access to the input. Then I'll execute some instructions. So I'll create a new constant called autocomplete, which will be instantiated using Google Maps Places Autocomplete. This class needs access to the HTML element, so I'll send to it the reference we just got. Now I'll add an event listener to this autocomplete, which will listen to the place changed event. Every time this event happens, a function will be executed. So let me log on the console the selected element on the autocomplete so we can see it better. The only thing missing here is to solve this error on Google. What's happening is that we have declared Google on our index.html file, but Ionic can't see it. As we know it's there, I can just declare a variable called Google and then Ionic will trust that we are doing the right thing. So let me save it and let's go to the register page and see what happens when I enter my address. We can see that the Google Autocomplete shows up. If I click on one of the results, we can see that the input field gets the whole address inside of it. We can see at the console the structure of the element that we just selected. It has the address components property, which has all the elements of the address. Ok, let's now set the values on the input elements of our screen. To do this, we can simply set the values on our form. Here I'll tell the register form to set the address and I'll send to it the result of the autocomplete. This function set address doesn't exist yet, so I'll create it in the register form. Well, I have created an address utils file that has the logic to get the values of the autocomplete place. 
You can take a look at it by going to our public repository on GitHub, which is on the description below. So I'll create a new constant called address form and I'll set to it the form.get address. Now from the address form I'll get the street element and I'll set its value from the find street helper function and I'll pass to it the place.address components. So I'll save this and let's take a look at the app. I'll put an address and select it from the autocomplete. You can see that the address is equal to the street part of the address. Alright, now let's do this with the other component. I'll copy and paste this, change the element to number, and now call the helper function to find the address number. And now I'll quickly do kind of the same to all the address fields. Alright, now save it and let's go back to the app and test this functionality. I'll put here my address and after I select it, we'll be able to see that only the complement input was not filled. This is reasonable as there is no complement in the Google address, you have to put it yourself. If I click on the register button, we'll be able to see that the address fields are not being marked with an error, which means that this feature works pretty well. On the next video, we are gonna do one more functionality for the register page. When the user enters the register page, we could get the user's address based on its GPS location and set the address based on that GPS, so the user not even need to type anything. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic framework and see you on the next video.